As we head into tick season, Lyme disease is not the only tick disease to worry about. According to a recent report by the CDC, another tick-borne illness is on the rise in the Northeast. As Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustace reports, researchers at Pennsylvania's Tick Lab in Monroe County say they're finding cases of it in our area already. The people hiking the trails here at Broadhead Creek Park in Stroud Township know they're not alone when outdoors. Hard to see pests are lurking this time of year ticks and they are top of mind for many at the park. You have to be concerned. You know, you have to watch out where you step. I'm always careful. I come out with my kids all the time and uh, just got to watch out. You don't want to get sick. When I'm walking, no, I don't think about it because I stay on the trails. Now, if I go into the field down there, then I'll be concerned. Nicole Chinisi is the lab director of the East Stroudsburg University Tick Research Lab in Smithfield Township. She says tick season hasn't slowed down, partly due to the lack of cold and snowy weather. Um, our February tick bites were actually up 300% in comparison to previous years. Um, so a lot of people think winter time ticks go away, but they don't if temperatures still are above freezing. So you find a tick on yourself or in your backyard, you could drop it off right here at ESU's Tick Lab to have it identified and tested for free. For research and to reduce the tick population, scientists have been out in the field collecting samples from small mammals that carry ticks. What they found is another tick-borne illness that can be transferred to humans called babesiosis. Very similar to um, like a malaria-like infection, so it infects our red blood cells. Because of free tick testing the state offers, Chinisi says they're finding between 6 to 8 percent of ticks are carriers of babesiosis. Pennsylvania leads the state for Lyme disease cases, but we do not report babesiosis cases, so the impact on our human population is really unknown in our state, but in other areas that do report it have seen increases in, in cases. If it's an increase in the tick population, we haven't seen too much of a sporadic increase in terms of our infection rates in ticks. For tips on how to prevent tick bites or to submit your tick for testing, visit WNEP.com. Amanda Eustace, Newswatch 16, Monroe County.